Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and Brooklyn's joining me today. Hi guys! And we're going to show you how to do what we're calling the dragon braid. Now it's called a dragon braid because it kind of looks like dragon scales going down the back of the head. It's a really cool version and twist on like a faux hawk look but with a braid. It's very cool. So let's get going. Now this hairstyle has almost a warrior princess kind of tough feel to it. So when we start, I started by parting right down the center of her hair. This has like a little bit edgier feel to it whenever you part the hair directly in the middle. So I really wanted to do that. And then I'm going to start by picking up a section right here. And I'm going to be doing a Dutch lace braid. So I'm only going to be adding hair in on the right. And what you'll see is that I'm almost pulling the hair over the part line as I go along to over direct the hair across her head. I really want that braid to lay right next to the part line. I don't want any space between the part and the braid. And in order to achieve that, you kind of almost have to pull it over the actual part line, just slightly. So we're gonna go along and add in pieces. You can see by my hands that I'm almost on top of the part line the whole time. Keep adding in pieces. And if you have flyaways like Brooklyn, don't panic because you can always use some dry wax or some hairspray when you're done to help those lay a little flatter. Or you can always style this with wet hair if you're going straight to an athletic event or something like that. When I get down to the bottom, I'm just gonna take it to a regular braid. But before I go too far, what I wanna do is pull the pieces on the inside edge. So only the pieces on the inside edge are going to get pancaked. And then we're gonna secure it with an elastic and repeat on the other side. Now on this side I'm gonna do the exact same thing but I'm gonna be over directing across the part line this way to make sure that it lays flat. Okay, you can see before I start pancaking that you literally almost can't even see a separation of the part line. We've done it so close together. Now when I get here again, I'm gonna go ahead and pancake again the inside edge of this one. And this should almost put the two braids on top of each other with just this little pancaking. Okay, now this would look like a cool braid just by itself, but we're gonna take it up one notch. Now, because it's a lace braid, you can see this side should be loose because we didn't attach any hairs there, and this side as well. So what we're gonna do is lift the two edges of this braid, like this, kind of push them together, take a bobby pin, and just we're gonna reach underneath and grab one side of each of the braids, like grab a little bit of hair from both sides, push that bobby pin in there to hold the braids together. So we wanna kind of just reach in and push, and grab our bobby pin, Take it in there, make sure you get both sides of the braid and secure it. When you get to the end, you can just take one elastic out and secure them both together. And then I just like to go back and re-pancake where I want to, just make sure that the overemphasized the scaliness of the braid is what we're looking for. And there you go. So let's do the final spin. Here we go. So dun 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 dun, you can see the dragon scale look all the way down the braid. And the braid's really fun because there's not really like a bad side and a good side because it mimics on the other side of the head. And ta-da, yay! So if you don't wanna miss any of our videos, be sure to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Give us a thumbs up if you love the dragon braid and be sure to leave a comment letting us know what your favorite part about spring is. We're into the midst of springtime soccer at our house and volleyball. <laughs> it's crazy. So I'm getting a suntan just from sitting outside at all of the soccer games every Saturday. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's one of my favorite things, watching my kids play their activities, I guess. It's fun. Yeah. So I guess that's it for today, you guys. We'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye.
under the left, and I'm gonna wrap it clockwise up and over the elastic, just until you run out of hair. So this will vary depending on your hair length. 